Kagan not on your side is not going to back down from covering what is a big problem in our schools. Two Tucson students who know about the pain of bullying say enough is enough. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Waddell. Guy actually has the night off. Those two young men are the driving force behind the Pima County Board of Supervisors decision to declare today anti-bullying day. Not on your side's Kevin Keene introduces us to the two once victims of bullying now taking a stand. Jennifer, they were victims themselves and now they teach other kids how to deal with bullies. In fact, they wrote a book on it. It is a day Gabe Villa and Levi Falavalita wish everyone could be, but Monday, it was officially anti-bullying day. These best friends in Vail have the Pima County proclamation to prove it. Here's what it says. Whereas two young men from the Vail district collaborated to proceed a book that tells young people how to handle a bullying situation and what to do afterwards. Those two young men are these 12 year olds once victims of bullying. Well, I was always getting like pushed and shoved and getting name called and it came to threats. The seventh graders shared their stories and lessons learned in a new book teaching other kids what to do when they're bullied. Levi did the writing, Gabe the drawing. It was like painting an image that came from words to my mind and gone to paper. Here's lesson number two. A real friend would be happy for your successes. Levi points to the example of when he earned a new bike. So the lesson is saying that your friend would be proud of you because you worked hard to get the bike. Their lessons, efforts, and work led to anti-bullying day made official by the Pima County Board of Supervisors. Levi and Gabe hope the attention spreads the message to tomorrow, the next day, and every day after. Bullying is not really a good thing and it kind of helps people understand how hard, hurtful it is to, other, to the kids that people bully. Have the book right here. It's called The Good, the Bad, and the Bullies. If you'd like more information on it, we'll post more information on our website, kega9.com, and we'll also add the full text of today's county proclamation. So brave, these two young guys. So nice to see them working on this project together. Yes. And I know there are more lessons in the book. There are. Uh, here's one more. It's, it reads that don't be so desperate to fit in that you allow other people to mistreat or control you. Good lesson. Adults could learn something from this book, too. I was going to say, these kids are wise beyond their years. <laughs> Kevin, thanks so much.